Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a little screenshot tool to take pictures of your UI from within Highs. So let's add a button to our interface here. Nope, that's a table, that's not what I wanted. Let's add a button, try that again. Button, there we go. And we'll turn off saving preset. And we can also make it momentary as well. And we'll right click on the control, select create custom callback definition, which copies it to the clipboard. And then we'll just paste that into our script here. Okay, so now we're going to say if not value. So when the button's off, return. So that means when we click the button, it's going to be on. And when we release, it's going to be off and it's just going to do nothing. So we're not going to respond when the button's off, only when it's on. And then we're going to call content dot create screenshot autocomplete isn't helping me today and then we need to give it three parameters so the first parameter is the area we want to screenshot so the x y width and height so if we want to get a screenshot of the entire UI, which is 600 by 600, we'd put 0, 0, 600, 600. The next thing we need to give it is the folder where we'd like to save the screenshot. So I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. So let's get that in a variable here, actually. So we'll use filesystem.getfolder. And then filesystem.downloads to get the downloads folder. Okay, so now we've got our directory, we can put that in there. And then we just need to give our image a name. So I'll just call it my image. And that's all there is to it. So now we'll hit F5. And we'll open my downloads folder. And let's just pin that so it always stays on top. So now when I click this button, we should get a screenshot of the UI. And uh, it should appear here. There we go. And there is the image of our UI. And that's it. So it's only screenshotting the highs interface. So if I put something over that area, that won't be included in the image. It's only the actual UI that is being screenshotted. So this is a nice little um, feature if you want to make some images of your UI to share on your website, perhaps. And in that case, you probably wouldn't want to use a button for it. What you'd want to do is take this function outside of the button and put it into on init. And let's just change that to a const. And we'll delete the folder, uh, delete the image in my downloads folder. And now when I hit F5, it's going to take that image. So we'll get an image every time we um, compile the script. So it's just a good way to take um, an image without having to like do a usual screenshot and then crop it in a separate program, that kind of thing. And of course, once you've finished taking your pictures, you can either comment out or just remove this code. You don't want to put that in the code that you're delivering to the end user. Right, well, that's all for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.